What's up, guys? Coach Gaglione here, and I want to go over some quick uh, guidelines and announcements for our deadlift contest, which is going to be heat wave dead weight. So for those of you that already signed up for our summer showdown meet, we are basically just combining them, and we uh, teamed up with the RPS to basically kick off summer powerlifting. We wanted to offer something that was going to be safe, socially distanced, as well as kind of going to be uh, manageable for any government guidelines that's to come in New York. Um, we are very mindful of the situation at hand and the coronavirus, so uh, at the time of this taping, these are going to be our guidelines, and I want to uh, just make sure you guys are in the loop and make sure you guys are prepared. So as of the time of this recording, we're just under 40 days out. This is going to be July 18th. It's going to be the first ever socially distant raw deadlift only event. And the reason why we're going raw only is that way uh, there's no issues with kind of putting straps up and things like that. Uh, your deadlift is a great option right now because it's something you could do by yourself. You don't need any spotters and that sort of thing. So there's going to be no refunds for this event. Uh, it's a one-day event. We're going to have a max of 32 lifters with four mini meets, mini meets of eight lifters. Right now we have two mini meets that are full. We have two uh, left over, so we have uh, room for 15 more lifters. And to be honest, we are totally fine if... Uh, we don't get any more signups, but uh, we'd love to have more. If you guys are interested, you guys can use this link here and go to revolutionpowerlifting.com and check out the links in the description below to sign up. Uh, you must sign up before June, uh, I believe June 17th is going to be a, yeah, June 17th will be the last time to sign up. So that deadline is coming up very, very shortly. This is going to be at our, uh, our, presented by RPS, hosted by Gaglion Strength, which is me, in our gym. Our gym is located on 32 Allen Boulevard. Uh, parking is going to be Baiting Place Road only, so there'll be no parking actually on the premises. So make sure, again, you're going to park on Baiting Place Road. You're going to walk to the events. It's going to be socially distanced. We're going to map out the parking lot so that way uh, you guys are distant and that way all the lifters can be spread out. We're going to have tents available for shade, uh, but feel free to provide your own. And feel free to provide your own seating. As long as you are distanced from people, you're going to be six feet apart. Uh, and we will make sure that it's very, very easy to understand how far that is. So again, uh, the only stipulation, if you are uh, in the same household with somebody else, you're living with someone, just you need to make sure you notify uh, myself ahead of time to gaglionstrength at gmail.com. And make sure you're following us at Gaglion Strength on Facebook and Instagram for updated information as well. Uh, our capacity limitations are going to be strictly enforced. Right now we have uh, room for 15 more lifters. We have a cap of 32 lifters. It's going to be 8 lifters per mini meet. Uh, there's going to be no spectators allowed. Okay. Uh, if you want to be a volunteer, uh, so if you are a handler, the only way you'll be permitted to handle is if you are a volunteer for the meet and you sign up ahead of time. So you must email me directly, gaglionstrength at gmail.com. Uh, if you want to be a volunteer, that will be the only way that you'll be able to be kind of a coach, etc. Okay, so you must register ahead of time to become an official volunteer for the day. Okay, so if you don't volunteer before June 17th, uh, you're going to have one coach per lifter and that must be approved by June 17th. Okay. Uh, if you are not approved ahead of time, you'll be, not be permitted and you will, you will be asked to leave the event. It's only going to be eight lifters and two loaders allowed in the warm-up room at one time. So it's only going to be 10 people allowed in the facilities. We'll have the garage doors open and you guys will be uh, in each meet. So for example, if you're in flight one, flight one will warm up, flight uh, one will compete, and then they will vacate the area. Then flight two will warm up, flight two will compete and then they will vacate the area and so forth. So there will only be 10 people at a time in the warm-up room at one time. So two eight lifters and two loaders. Um, that's what our plan is for this. Entry deadline, June 17th. So please make sure that you uh, sign up uh, early so we can kind of plan ahead of time. We're not going to reach, uh, there'll be a late fee after June 17th, but we'll more than likely will sell out or be closed by June 17th. So make sure you get your entry in before June 17th. We're not going to have any shared items, so please bring your own food, water, and also chalk. That is a big one. That's going to be something different. So please, 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 please bring your own chalk, and, and you can apply your baby powder. Bring your own baby powder as well. Uh, we're going to require high socks, so this is not, this is something different. 
Uh, so usually RPS does not require high socks, but again, just due to sanitary uh, conditions, uh, this will be a, kind of an amendment to the RPS rules. High socks are going to be required. We're going to have the bar cleaned uh, between each attempt. Uh, masks are recommended, especially if you're a non-competitor volunteer. They'll be provided. We'll have uh, we have 50 uh, kind of disposable masks, and as well as uh, masks you'll be able to purchase, uh, as well at the weigh-ins as well. Venue will be marked off for appropriate social distances. There's going to be no same-day weigh-ins. This is really important, uh, so you must register for a time slot ahead of time, and we'll email you guys any competitors out ahead of time. So these are going to be our time slots. Uh, if you can, if you cannot make these times, you will not be permitted. We're going to have rules, a uh, quick rules briefing at 8.15, and we'll also send you guys out some rules as well. Quick rules briefing at 8.15 a.m., and this is kind of our kind of tentative uh, kind of uh, breakdown of events. So flight one warm ups at 8:30, flight two warm ups at 9:45, okay, and so forth. So um, that's a kind of our plan. So they'll have some uh, time to uh, kind of get situated and cleaned up and, and that sort of thing. So this is our plan, depending on how many flights we have and how many lifters we end up getting. I'm really, really excited for this event. My goal for this meet is to have the powerlifting community on the East Coast come together. Uh, I know it's been a really challenging time for a lot of lifters, so we want to come together. This is also our nine-year anniversary for Gaglione Strength. And uh, we're really proud to uh, have helped build a stronger community. We want to continue to do so, and by hosting meets like this, uh, we believe that we can become stronger, and when we're stronger, we're going to be strong together. So we want you to stay safe. We want you to stay strong. Please sign up for... Uh, dead, dead. Uh, excuse me. Please sign up for Heat Wave Dead Weight uh, using. Uh, go to rpsrevolutionpowerlifting.com. And if you have any questions, again, please follow at Gaglion Strength. Shoot me an email to gaglionstrength@gmail.com if you need anything. Thank you guys for listening, and until next time, stay strong, and we'll see you soon.